A-D-S-R. Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR with me, Mike Smith. Uh, just going to show you a quick tutorial today on compression. Um, it's just going to be a, a visual um, tutorial just to show you compression and how it works to hopefully maybe give you a little bit of a better understanding. Um, so initially I've created three tracks in Cubase. I've created a an original track, I've created a compressed track and I've created a compare track. So what I shall do is um, open the mixer. I've created a, a summing track um, won't go too much into detail with that um, and what I've done is I've sent the original and panned it hard left into the summing track I'll also put a copy of that onto the compressed track and I've put that hard right into the summing track we'll obviously uh, apply the compressor here I'm just using the fab filter pro C uh, just so visually you can see what's happening so Again, the original goes hard left, the compressed track goes hard right, and it then gets recorded into here, into the compare track, so you can visually see the difference. So on the top here in the left will be the original, so it should look identical to that. And on the bottom here will be the new compressed track. So, uh, first of all, there's a kick, just a, a flabby normal, normal kick. Um, what we'll do now is apply some compression to the kick and record it in just so you can see what I'm going to do is go to extremes this is not a technique on how to compress a kick drum it's just so you can visually see what's happening so we'll put quite a lot of ratio on bring the threshold up um, and we'll we'll just play it now and I'll just tweak it a little bit and change the attack and release um, in this little box here you will be able to see the compression being applied to the kick. Uh, that's why I used this. So the original will be in grey and the compressed signal will be in tan. So as you can see there, the grey signal in the background and this tan is the now compressed signal. So you can see I'm still letting the uh, attack of the kick through, a quick release, so it's going back up. Um, and let's record that in now so you can visually get an idea. And there you go, I mean, visually you can see straight away the difference between the two. So let's have a little zoom in. So there you go, this top one, like I said, is the original, uncompressed, and this is our new compressed kick drum. As you can see, um, we've still got the attack, which is what, what we wanted really, like the beater uh, hitting the skin of the, the kick, and what we've done is we've, we've kind of compressed all this flabbiness here. Um, we've made the kick tighter, obviously that would be more defined in the mix. Um, I've gone to extreme so you can see it like I said this isn't really a tutorial on how to compress a kick drum it's just to give you a visual representation of compression in action so you know that, that's kind of nice we've still got the the actual kick uh, you can see there now you know the it, the compressor kicks in straight away and and then compresses the rest of the signal let's actually do that again uh, let's put more more attack on the compressor that back in again so there you go on that one not compressed it quite as much you can see it's a little bit a little bit fatter so we've actually retained some of this um, however you know we, we, we've certainly tamed this peak here uh, you can see in this one the attack of the compressors kicking in uh, straight away and then compressing from here on in. Um, 
so that's it for the kick um, again I'll just put a, a vocal in here that I've done copy it onto to there and just play with it it's just a little loop of a vocal um, let's see the compressor in action let's take all this off first the ratio as you can see there everything's tan there's no compression at all okay let's record that in and instantly there you can see you know this peak isn't as pronounced um, all these peaks here are a little bit more squashed what we've done there effectively is is keep the vocal uh, in a little bit more check we've squashed the peaks down and brought the quieter bits up so it's all at a relative level uh, basically we've tamed it so again it'd stop any massive uh, peaks as you can see here look you know that that may just sort of peek through the mix what we've done is tame that down compressed it a little bit we've still left quite a lot of attack so some of the peak has cut through we've not completely squashed it to death um, so there you go you can actually see compression in action um, again this tutorial is really only a quick overview it's just so rather than somebody talking about compression you can visually see it happening and what it's doing to the signal uh, what I recommend doing is is trial and error is is do a similar sort of thing put some samples in there put a compressor on it and just slowly tweak with the controls uh, record it back in and, and compare them and, and see what you've done to it and how you've done it um, the more better understanding you have of compression and how it works um, the, the more useful it'll be in your mix and you'll use it more effectively rather than just banging a compressor on something and, and just using a preset um, so that's been it if you've got any questions don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and drop me a line and I will get back to you as soon as possible so until the next time take care bye bye